Welcome to this Windows channel and this is a video to talk about Patch Tuesday. Uh, today, July 12th, 2016, we are the second Tuesday of each month or of the month of July. And what that means, we're Patch Tuesday, the security updates for Windows computers. So today, a good number of security updates have been issued and they are of course available for Windows Vista, Windows 7, Windows 8.1 and Windows 10. In Windows Vista 7 and 8.1 you have a certain number of updates. In Windows 10 it is divided into uh, cumulative updates and also um, a, um, two other little updates I'm going to show you here uh, in the update and security. So here's what we got in my update history for today. So today, of course, the Ma uh, Windows Malicious Software Removal Tool has been updated, but what's most important is the three first updates here. So there's update for Windows 10, 15, 11, uh, which is uh, KB3173428. Another one is the Adobe Flash Player again. Adobe Flash Player security update. There's a flaw in Flash Player we knew a few weeks ago. And there's a cumulative update, which contains a lot of different updates. And I'm going to talk to you about what are the different updates. So if you want to know in Windows 10 if you've been updated, what you do is you go to Cortana search, type WinVer for Win version or Windows version. You should be at 10586.494. This is the new number for the build of Windows 10 right now, if you're in the regular uh, ring for the update. So what does this um, have in patches? First of all, one for Windows 10 uniquely is the first, uh, the first one, which is basically a update that makes stability improvements for Windows 10 version 1511. It's like a servicing pack from what they say. And uh, it's a small package, but apparently it makes Windows 10 a little more stable. So this is more of a bug fix, probably. Then you've got the Flash Player update, which is, of course, um, you know, centerpiece of problems for the past months. I don't think there's been a month in the in this year where Flash Player didn't have an update for security. So that's why it's important to uh, actually download it and update it. What else do we have? We have a security update for Secure Boot. There's a security update for uh, Windows kernel. So that's the basics of Windows. Basically, the, the kernel is like, you know, the core of Windows. There's a security update for .NET Framework. Security update for kernel mode drivers. There's a security update, um, another security update for Windows secure kernel mode. One for the Prince Pooler. Prince Pooler is uh, basically what makes your printer uh, run in Windows. And uh, there's one for Microsoft Edge browser that's specific for Windows 10, but there's a update that is across Internet Explorer versions. So if you have Internet Explorer 11, there is cumulative security update for Internet Explorer. So more than one fix in Internet Explorer, basically. Um, also more than one fix for Microsoft Edge. Um, one of the things that I probably think also is that uh, some of the basic code of Edge probably shares common code with Explorer. So that's why both of them have community, cumulative security updates. So several updates for Internet Explorer. And uh, so there's lots of things happening. Um, some of them are critical, meaning they are really exploited in the wild. That means bad guys already have the possibility to hack your system through them. So it's important to make these updates and uh, so make sure that you get them. If you, if you see this video, why not go into your, uh, you know, all settings or if you're in Windows 7, Windows uh, 8.1, go into your Windows updates and make sure that uh, you actually click on check for updates to make sure that you have the latest and the best updates available for Windows. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe to my channel. You'll be informed when new videos are online. Give us thumbs up if you like our videos. And hopefully, you'll continue following us on this channel. Please make these updates and stay secure on the internet.